Growing up on a farm in the middle of the UK's coal country, Dennis Dixon knew early on that he wasn't interested in either agriculture or mining as career options. What he did settle on was engineering, after coming across an engineering school brochure and thinking it would be a good way to earn a living. And so it was. Dennis toured the world as an engineer, working on buildings and infrastructure projects, both at home and abroad, especially in the Middle East. When he returned to Canada full-time, Dennis started volunteering with the Brampton chapter, beginning as a scribe and quickly moving up the ranks to become chair. Over the next 30 years, Dennis became deeply involved with PEO, serving on many committees and task forces, including the Professional Standards Committee, the Technologist Licensure Task Group, the Consulting Engineers Designation Committee, and the Audit Committee, just to name a few. As PEO president, Dennis focused on core regulatory functions, including maintaining positive relations with the Attorney General, administrative efficiency, and ensuring the best use of association resources. Following the partial roof collapse at the Algo Center Mall in Elliott Lake in 2012, Dennis, as PEO president, led a team representing the association during the subsequent investigations. He used his extensive building experience to assist in dealings with the Elliott Lake Commission of Inquiry. Dennis firmly believes volunteering is about contributing, giving back, being confident, and having expertise. An effective volunteer, he says, needs to learn all they can so they're qualified, can answer questions, and pass along their knowledge to others. After several decades serving the association and the profession, Dennis now focuses his attention on attracting new leaders to guide PEO into the future. It is for his continued dedication to promoting the profession and PEO's role within it that Dennis Dixon is being inducted as a companion in the Professional Engineers Ontario Order of Honour.